So uh, we're here at the Zoom booth of the 2017 NAMM show taking a look at the new F-Control controller for the F8 and F4 from Zoom. The F-Control allows you to hook up USB to both the F4 and the F8 so you have a full mixing surface as well as some other nice features. Eight main faders, 60 millimeters give you easy control over your mix and I, uh, the knob on top allows you to switch between trim and pan and then you have your PFL and your arming button for each track. The main fader can control your stereo mix or the outputs. On the right side you have your transport controls, your menu and your menu selection knob and then some nice buttons that give you easy access to metadata notes, uh, your time code menu and then the user assignable buttons can, can have, uh, have many functions uh, to whatever. Is it, is it like a MIDI control surface or is it an audio interface? What's the it, it is, uh, it's a control surface purely, there's no audio going through here, it's just all electronic control of the F4. Uh, you can power it via uh, bus power with the F4 or uh, through the 4 pin Erosi connection or AA batteries. You can have uh, your headphone, you can run audio from through the unit so uh, you can have your headphones coming out of the F control. And you can even plug in a USB keyboard so you can have a full keyboard for enter metadata notes. So what would be the, the kind of purposes for location uh, recording side of things or where, where would you use the control? surface. Yep. So for people on location that need to do a live mix, this is really important to have that full control surface uh, so that you could do that live mix. Um, if you have a cart setup, that's the best, very easy to have it on there, but it's smaller form factor and the metal construction makes it so that you can even use it in a bag setup, handheld even, if you really needed to. So tell me about the F4 as well, it's a thing of beauty, I must say both of these are really just beautiful yeah. things. So the F4 is a 6 input 8 track recorder, you have 4 preamps and then your other 2 inputs can come from our zoom input capsule or the stereo 8th inch input on the right side and that could even be used as a camera return. The unit can be powered uh, through the Corp Rossi connector or with AA batteries. You have four outputs, all the features that you need for uh, real location sound recording, time code, multiple power options, multiple SD card slots, and the highest quality audio that we offer. So what, uh, uh, what kind of uh, battery life do you get out of a straight battery pack, on, on board battery? Out of the batteries, uh, you can safely rely on four to six hours. Uh, but if you're looking to really power all day, going through the 4-pin Hiroshi connector with an external battery, you can power it all day. And um, tell me a little bit about the, 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 the stereo mix recording, because you can record six inputs. Yep, so you can record six, your six inputs, the four preamps, plus wherever you get your other two inputs, plus a stereo mix that you can create live using the unit itself, or that's where the F-Control comes in, the ability to make that mix as you're recording. Uh, and then that's saved right onto the SD card. You can give that stereo mix to editing. No need to do it afterwards. And in terms of uh, storage, twin SD cards. So Dual SD cards. So you're always recording at both at the same time, up to 512 gigabytes in each. Okay. And what's uh, 96k 24? What's it go up to? The uh, it goes up to 192k 24 bit. Okay, and what about um, internal processing? So, I mean, high pass filter, uh, compression limited, what, what kind of DSPs on board? So, it has a, um, a low cut filter on every, and a compressor on every channel. I'm sorry, uh, it has a limiter and a low cut filter on every channel uh, that allows you to, you know, cut, in that, cut out that low end rumble, um, as well as limit the signal coming in and make sure you're not going to clip. And I guess the, the other big news is you know, a, a time code. Is it in and out or just out? Or? So it has time code in and out, and the, the time code clock inside is rock solid with a 0.2 ppm discrepancy. It's, it's as professional as it gets. You'll be on set and you'll be more solid than some of the cameras sometimes. Right, okay, cool. And what's the price and availability for these guys? The F4 is available now uh, for $649 in the US. And what about the F Control? F Control is going to be available starting next week at $349. Right. So, I mean, I guess for, uh, in location sound is kind of one of the key things, but I mean, I guess, you know, if you need short term, like radio, uh, you know, small track count, yep. multi track recording. So, for, for podcasters, for uh, even musicians, um, it's hard to find portable recorders that have uh, multiple channels of phantom power uh, and the ability to record really high quality audio. audio. The F4 and F8, for those guys, uh, can really give you that ability. The F8, you can get eight condenser microphones with no attachment to a wall going into the recorder, which is huge. 
um, with the F4 getting four in is also huge. So for somebody looking for the highest quality portable recording, even outside of the film world, these can work really well for you. And I noticed there's a, a below mount. Can you get a top mount as well? Is there a way to Yes, so uh, on top here, it actually comes with a bracket that goes under these four screws. And that bracket has a camera tripod on there. So you can mount a DSLR camera or a camcorder or something right on top of the unit. And it's flat, because that's the thing with, with the rigs that we've got. We can just put them down and they don't fall over. Absolutely, yep. Thank you very much, Samuel. Thank you.